It's good to see you again. Welcome to another special Facebook Live with me, Teacher Jolly. I'm glad so many of you have joined us today. Let's make sure to share this with your friends so that more people can take part in this storytelling session. Plus, you can always watch this on replay on the ECCD Council official Facebook page. Did you know that every February, we celebrate the National Arts Month? This is a celebration of the wonderful, unique, and diverse Filipino art and culture. This includes various forms of art like drawings, paintings, dances, and songs. This year's theme, Ani ng Sining, Bayang Malikain, aims to promote and value the Filipinos' imagination and innovation. In today's Facebook Live, I will tell you a story about spilt milk. Have you ever experienced pouring milk in a glass and accidentally spilled some on the table? Do you sometimes imagine different images from the spilt milk? Our story today will talk about exactly that. So, are you ready to let your imagination run wild? Join me as I tell you this story. Our story for today is entitled, It Looked Like Spilt Milk by Charles G. Shaw. Sometimes, it looked like spilt milk, but it wasn't spilt milk. Sometimes, it looked like a rabbit, but... It wasn't a rabbit. Sometimes it looked like a bird. But it wasn't a bird. Sometimes it looked like a tree. But it wasn't a tree. Sometimes it looked like an ice cream cone, but it wasn't an ice cream cone. Sometimes it looked like a flower, but it wasn't a flower. Sometimes it looked like a pig, but it wasn't a pig. Sometimes, it looked like a birthday cake, but it wasn't a birthday cake. Sometimes, it looked like a sheep, but it wasn't a sheep. Sometimes, it looked like a chicken. It wasn't a chicken. Sometimes it looked like a mitten. But it wasn't a mitten. Sometimes it looked like a dog. But it wasn't a dog. Sometimes it looked like an angel. It wasn't an angel. Sometimes it looked like spilled milk, but it wasn't spilled milk. It was just a cloud in the sky. Cloud watching can be enjoyed anywhere and can go for as long as you and the child's imagination allows. What shapes do you see in the clouds? Ask the children in your class this question and encourage them to name several possibilities. You can use this story as you talk about the weather, especially on a cloudy day. This can also be a good take-off point for an art activity, which we will share on our Facebook page next week. So, I hope everyone enjoyed our story today. 
Again, this is Teacher Jolly Yao. Halina't makisining, bayang malikhain. See you next time!